Hello guys, right now I'm using the most advanced film gear I ever had and it can do so many things so I'm so excited for this video or what and the do. That's right. So as you can see the camera is moving really smoothly uh, back and forth and without having any person behind the camera. So uh, that's just one of many features of this equipment. So yeah, we we'll think we'll have to talk more about it or maybe you can talk about it and the X1. Yeah, I think it's the best if I do it. So guys, stay tuned and you will see more of this. So this is the iFootage Motion S1A3. Before you leave the video thinking, wow, this is just too expensive for me, I would need to sell my house to get this one, it's actually not that expensive compared to other similar equipment. And I wouldn't make a video about something that's like far off too expensive for us indie filmmakers. So uh, if you see this video and you think this is something for you, I think it will be a good investment. So the guys at iFootage sent me the whole rig to test it out. And uh, one cool thing is that it's actually made out of three different parts. So, which you can use separately. So if you don't afford a whole setup, uh, you can start off by buying the manual slider, uh, which actually is the best manual slider ever tested. And then it's the S1A1, which is a wireless um, motion controller. And then it's the motorized uh, motion X2, which uh, makes you able to pan and tilt while sliding motorized. So that's really cool. And all together, it's called the iFootage Motion S1A3. And uh, I will go through all of the different setups in this video, how it works and why it's perfect to create stunning time lapses. So, let's start from scratch. Imagine you want a light-weighted slider for your films to create some smooth tracking shots with the camera. Then, the Shark Slider S1 can be a good alternative. Here, I'm using my tripod with a removable head. That's great because I can then use the head to tilt and pan the camera while sliding. Together with a shark slider, you get extension rods, extension wire, and an auxiliary weight. The auxiliary weight gives you a little bit of resistance when sliding and therefore smoothens the shots. Combined with the wire and the high quality bearings, makes this the best manual slider I ever tested is also lightweighted and easy to move around. The slider got four adjustable legs, which makes it easy to use the slider on a surface without a tripod. Now let's add the motor. Connect it to the wire. And then add the V-mount battery. This is called the iFootage S1A1. With the wireless remote controller, you can operate the speed of the slider in addition to many other features like pre-recorded movements, time-lapse functions and so on. I will talk more about that later in the video. The motor and the wire are well crafted, so you can get perfect smooth movements every time. Even my cat is impressed.
Then it's the final setup and the most awesome one. By adding the Motion X2, you have all the same features, but now you can also pan and tilt the camera in every direction. You get full control of the camera from the remote controller and it will make your shots look super smooth and elegant. So let's bring it to the park and test it out. The shots you just saw was made using the manual function of the slider, which means you control the camera all the time with the remote. But there are other ways of moving the camera as well. This is the manual mode where I control the sliding speed, tilt and pan with the two joysticks. The more I pull the joystick, the faster the movement is. In the record menu, I can pre-record several different movements which enables me to get a lot of creative possibilities. When I have recorded a movement, I go into the Auto menu and choose the recording I want to use. Then choose whether to move it from A to B, from A to B and then back, or do the exact same movement I recorded. And then choose for how long I want it to move, and if I want to fade in and fade out. And the final choice is to make it move just once, or make it loop. Since I made it loop, I could edit myself into the moving shot. And that's almost impossible without a rig like this. Since you can pre-record a movement, you can concentrate on doing other things during the shot, like focusing. Using a wireless follow focus like the Aperture DEC is perfect for this rig, since you shouldn't touch the camera while sliding. Using this rig will make you look really professional, and you will probably get a lot of new friends. I was probably a bit sad ending. Let, let's change the mood. There we go. So far I just talked about filming with the rig. But what about the other features? Here we have uh, Morten Rusta. He's from Norway and he made a time lapse called uh, Norway. <laughs> with, uh, which went quite viral on YouTube with over 2 million views and uh, it's still growing. You have uh, tested uh, several uh, motorized equipment for time lapse. Mm -hmm. And now we tested this one, what do you think? Um, it's definitely the most uh, advanced timeless system I've used. 
uh, you have endless uh, possibilities with the three axis system. It's, uh, it's a bit heavy to go up on the mountain uh, alone with it, but it's uh, perfect for uh, higher end professional shootings and uh, more easy accessible locations. Uh, like urban time lapses. What's so great about it is that it's modular, so you can have uh, only one uh, one piece of it with you, or you can have everything. And for my Norway uh, video, I only had a one axis uh, system, so it will be more than enough for most people. But if you want to go the extra mile and go all professional, you can add this one to get all sort of uh, crazy movements. Yeah. The time-lapse feature is great as well. You connect the camera wirelessly to the rig with a shutter controller. You also have a great panorama feature. Just find your frame A and frame B, and then it will automatically take all the photos you need to make a giant panorama shot. What's cool about the wireless shutter controller is that it's easy to make stop motion as well. Go into the time-lapse feature and adjust the settings as preferred and then capture each photo by pressing the button on the controller. It's a joy to use the wireless controller. And as a gamer, it's really easy to operate it, even from the sofa, while looking at the globus, or even looking out the window. When buying the whole package, you get two V-mount batteries, which last for ages, so that's great when shooting. And also the rig feels really solid with the uh, aluminum and uh, carbon fiber, so it's really robust. Not being able to move quickly around on set is probably one of the biggest drawbacks with a setup like this. Often I just bring my camera and shoot handheld because I know I can add some stabilization effect in post and create some nice tracking shots. But it can be tricky, and if you're doing a professional project, it's not worth ruining the shots because you didn't invest in a good slider. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more upcoming movie making tutorials. Bye bye!